Hey guys, it's Jeff from Pressure Luck, and it's game day, which means awesome food and amazing dips. So while Richard is watching his beloved Auburn War Eagles playing, it's Tigers! God, these guys in their sports are so touching. The Auburn Tigers play, I'm gonna be whipping up some of the most outrageous, cheesy, creamy, spinachy, spinach artichoke dip you've ever had. My glasses are fogging up, that's how good it's gonna be. You're gonna love it, it couldn't be easier to make. It's so simple and quick. Without further ado, the ultimate spinach and artichoke dip. Right, we're gonna take one medium yellow onion, diced, an eight ounce brick of cream cheese, Cubed. Let's take a 14 ounce can of artichoke hearts to have about 8 to 10 of them in there and drain it. Okay, and now let's chop these up. And there we go. We can actually rip these up by hand. We don't even have to cut them up. And you see, you just fan them out kind of like this. And let's come down to the pot and hit saute. So we're on the more or high setting. And I'm going to add in one tablespoon or an eighth of a stick of salted butter and let that melt. And once the butter's all melted and it begins to bubble, let's add in our onions. And then let's just stir those up and coat them with the butter and cook for about five minutes until the onions soften a bit. But don't you just love the smell of cooked onions and butter? Oh. Now I'm gonna add in a half a teaspoon of garlic base and a half a teaspoon of water, but if you don't have that, you can use chicken base, that's fine. So let's add the garlic base to the pot. And I'm going to add a half a cup of an Alfredo sauce. You can use any jarred kind. A half a cup of mayonnaise. A half a cup of sour cream. Did I mention this might not be the best thing for people who are lactose intolerant? and our artichoke hearts. And let's give all of that a nice good stir together. I'm gonna add in a half a tablespoon of crushed garlic and then just stir that up with it as well. Now let's add our cubed cream cheese. Give that another stir. Terrific, and our final ingredient, one eight to 10 ounce bag of some baby spinach. Once all the spinach is in there, just push some of it down a little bit. We don't have to, you know, mix it up with everything. We don't actually even want to do that right now. Just let it be like how it is. And now let's put our lid on top. Okay, sealing position. Down here and hit keep warm cancel, then hit manual. And we're just gonna simply go for four minutes on high pressure, guys. Well, that's cooking. Let's check on Richard and see how the game's doing. War Eagle! Break his face! Men. It's quick release time. Okay, the lid comes off, and there we have it. Let's give it all a stir. So just mix everything up in the pot as it is so far. Get all that spinach incorporated with all the dairy that we put in there. Great. And now, let's add some cheese. By some, I mean a lot. We're gonna add a half a cup of grated Parmesan and an eight ounce bag of shredded mozzarella. And now, let's stir it all up. Oh, look at this, gorgeous. Mm, 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 mm. It's like so stretchy, the cheese, and it's just unbelievable. It's almost like, reminds me of my Aligo dish, which is my super, super cheesy mashed potatoes. You should check those out too. Okay, we have one final ingredient to really set this up at the top. It's gonna be some bacon bits. Now don't use the crunchy kind, use the real kind that actually tastes like bacon. I'm gonna put in about two to three tablespoons, but you can put in how much you want. In, and let's give it all a final stir. All right, let's transfer it to a serving bowl. And look at that. I'm far more interested in this than I am in the football game, by the way. Look at that beautiful dip. Let's take some, like, garlic toast or some tortilla chips and dip it in there. Even veggies. All right, I'm gonna try it out. Look at this. It's a lot in here, by the way. This is gonna make a lot. Mmm. Oh, wow. And this doesn't get any better than this, guys. And it's healthy, right? I mean, there's spinach and artichokes and, you know, some dairy, which is necessary for the food groups, right? Oh, it's so good. I have to take it to Richard to let him try it out. Let's see. Oh man, mm. good. Very good. Yeah, healthy too, right? Oh sure. <laughs> Guys, if you like easy to follow recipes with amazing results, with an easy to follow video accompanying each recipe, go to PressureLuckCooking.com and you can hover over any photo there and save it or pin it to any board on Pinterest. Go to Facebook.com/PressureLuckCooking and like the page. You'll have updates to all new recipes. Uh, you'll have get to see some fun memes, some Facebook Live, and all tips, everything. Subscribe to my YouTube. Follow me on Twitter. I have it all. Thank you guys so much. And even if your team doesn't win the game, well, you still have spinach and artichoke dip, right?